kiss? Well, maybe, but what's next for Holly and Susie? And Pete is about to find out it's what, what you know, but who you know in Family Affairs. And that's next after this. Yeah, come in. Oh, hi. Hi. What are the costumes? Good. They're perfect. I didn't think that you were going to come. What? Of course I'm coming. We arranged it. Maybe, but after you left in such a rush this morning, I just thought... That... Well, you thought wrong. Look, I didn't leave this morning because I wanted to. No? No. Just needed time to think. Right. How are you feeling? Not sure. <gasps> I knew it. <laughs> I knew this would happen. What? Oh, the, uh... You'd spend the night together and you'd wake up in the morning and you'd realise that it's not what you wanted. So is that why you rushed out this morning then? Because you thought... Yeah, something like that. Well, you are wrong. It... Last night it felt so right, you know? It did. And I'm sorry, but I just can't help feeling a bit confused, I suppose. Really? Yeah. Well, I suppose you ought to think about getting changed. Do you really want to go to the fancy dress party? Yeah. It'll be fun. Anyway, there's no way I'm not going. I've spent most of the morning trying to find something to mm -hmm. wear. Yeah, no, I'd just rather spend the time with you, you know, just the two of us. Hmm. I was worried about corrupting you. <laughs> Is that really what you were thinking? Hmm. No, not really. Well, yeah, OK, maybe a little. You shouldn't, yeah? I feel great and happy. Yeah, today, but what about tomorrow and uh, the day after that? No, yeah, I'm not changing my mind if that's what you're thinking. Well, you don't know that. No, I do. I love being with you. It just makes me feel... Oh, I just... Oh, I can't describe it. But... What, what about when you're not with me? When you're on your own? And when you're being faced with the prospect that maybe some of your friends or your family, they, well, they're finding it hard to accept why you're so happy. I don't care about that. Yeah, well, you should. Well, all I know is I kissed you and it felt wonderful. Right? This looks very cosy. Can't you knock? Why? What have you got to hide? Nothing. It's just it's polite, that's all. Yeah. I'm looking for your mother. Well, she's not here. Right. Thank you. Sure to spoil your fun. What do you think he heard? I doubt it. Oh, well. He acted like he did. Oh, well, he's just been in a funny mood all day. He, uh, he can't find your mum's fancy dress costume and he's annoyed and she won't tell him what she's going as. Well, how do you know? Well, because he asked me if I'd seen it when I came in. What, what if he's been listening at the door? I mean, what if he goes and tells mum something? Look, you know, I would think that your father's got better things to do than sit outside his daughter's door and listen to her conversation. Yeah, I suppose so. See what I mean? Stick around with me and it isn't going to be easy. I realise that. But it doesn't change anything. I still want to be with you. Really wrong. Of course it's not. Pete's scum, he deserves this and more. Those men we hired, it was a terrible idea. It was a great idea. No, we brought ourselves down to his level. Look, I did warn you about this. Don't start getting all intellectual about it now. Pete's got what's coming to him, and that's that. I left the other bags at the front. This is the last one. Yeah. See you later. Look, you never said that they were going to beat him up. Well, what did you think they were going to do? Kicking his feet with a feather? I don't know what I thought. Well, that's not my fault. And Susie, don't get at me. Well, don't back out on me, then. I'm not, but I'm just saying, I didn't know they were going to put him in hospital. I thought they were just going to frighten him. Yeah, well, Pete doesn't frighten easily. With a bit of luck, he'll have got the message. But if not, we're going to have to think again. 
Maria, you can go back to your flat now. You to be loud it. I think it was never there. Really? Yep. We even gave the toilet a clean with a little toothbrush. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It looks really nice. So what did you do with Roy? Oh, <laughs> well, we went in and he was prancing around in the nude. Yeah. And he had his warmer on. <laughs> we just can't believe and he did. Yeah, in shame. Mm. Poor Roy. Came after a job this morning. Told him he couldn't have one. Mm. Well, he's really backed the wrong horse this time, hasn't he? Yeah, I suppose so. So are you ready to move back in? Yeah. You don't seem too sure. Well, it's just I've been so busy now. What with the lock? I'm not sure I'm up to carting all my stuff back over from your mum and dad's house. Well, I'm sure they wouldn't mind if you wanted to stay a bit longer. Yeah, well, I wouldn't leave the place empty if I were you. It wouldn't surprise me if you tried to get back in. Well, we could always look after it for you if you wanted, couldn't we? Uh, yeah, I s suppose. It's just until you're ready. Yeah, I'd like that. Okay, hey, good. <laughs> Thanks. Help yourselves to milk and sugar. Look, um, has anyone been asking you any questions about Pete? No. Because, oh, well, I'm just worried, you know, that they're going to trace this back to us. They won't. Well, how do you know? Police aren't going to be interested in someone like Pete being attacked. They know he's dodging. Yeah, but I just wish he hadn't done what he did. It isn't right. That's what your mum was saying earlier. Yeah, well, I agree with her. We should rename them the Bleeding Hearts. I didn't know they were going to be so brutal. He was brutal with me. Exactly. And with him, the bruises are only skin deep. He'll be over it in a couple of weeks. He won't have nightmares. He won't lie in bed wondering if he's done the right thing. His confidence won't go. I may be all right. Of course you may. It's just that... Oh, just change the record, will you? Look, you're part of this, and there's nothing you can do about it. Are you really genuinely happy? Well, I know I am. I mean, okay, I might have had reservations at first. But now it's been done, I'm sure it's the right thing. Yeah, well, what about you, Maria? Me too. Absolutely. And what about Miss Bleeding Heart? I'm trained as a lawyer. <laughs> what has that got to do with it? I just wish we hadn't had to resort to violence. It goes against everything I believe in. It's just a downward spiral. <laughs> it's like the Wild West. Oh, damn it, yeah, he got what he deserved. <laughs> <laughs> it's like being on holiday again. Tell me, why did you tell Marie that we'd look after this place? Because it's convenient, isn't it? And that's the only reason. Yeah. So, what are you so excited about? I'm not. Well, you just said it felt like we were going on holiday again. Yeah, well, it'll be like Nepal, won't it? We're trying a marina? I don't think so. No, I mean like having our own place to stay. I mean, I really liked that when we were away, didn't you? You know, this reminds me of a place I used to squat in Manchester years ago. We used to take it in turns to keep watch. You know, maybe we should do that. Oh, we'll be fine. What are you doing? Getting my bed ready. Here? Don't you want to sleep in the bedroom? No, I'm fine. Well, there's plenty of room. I'm OK. Have I done something wrong? No. But I thought, you know, we've got a bit of privacy, it'll be nice. But I just don't want you to keep making assumptions about me. <laughs> what do you mean, I'm not? Just because we're sharing the same flat doesn't mean we have to share the same bed. No, oh, I know it doesn't. But there's no harm in it, is there? You've still got thinking to do, Hull. No, I haven't. I've done all my thinking. I know what I want. Oh, like you knew what you wanted with David Cash. Oh, that's different. <laughs> Go to bed, Hull. All right. 